Hey, this is Steve Keys here with Keller Williams Capital District. We are here with another episode of Hey, How's the Market? This week we are taking a look at Saratoga County. This is the week of June 15th to June 21st of 2024. All right, so total active inventory. we got Saratoga Springs School District with 79 properties available on the market. Shenandoah School District with 63 properties available on the market. Total active inventory for the county was 298. New pending properties this week. We had Shenandoah School District with 16 properties under contract, Saratoga School District with 8 properties under contract. Total pending properties this week was 44. New sold properties this week. We had Shenandoah School District coming in at first place with 11 properties closed this week, Saratoga School District with 5 properties closed this week. Total sold properties this week for the county was 36. For price points, 200 to 300,000 had 14 properties under contract this week, and 300 to 400 and 400 to 600,000 each tied. They had 11 properties under contract this week. For total chance to sell, 300 to 400 had the best chance of selling at just under 26% chance, and 200 to 300 had the second best chance of selling at 23%. For school district, Shenandoah School District had the best chance to sell at just over 25%, and Mechanicville School District and Waterford School District each tied with 25% chance of selling. Waterford School District is one of those lower active school districts. It's the lowest active school district in Saratoga County and only had four properties available in the market. Uh, so Mechanicville itself also being one of the lower producer ones but it did at least have 12 active uh, so that probably really takes uh, second place uh, total chance to sell for the county was just under 15 percent and the highest sale was 1.4 million in saratoga springs four bed four hundred four bed four and a half bath about 5500 square feet so taking a look at the charts, uh, total active inventory, we have stabilized a little bit in the recent past weeks. We are higher than where we were this time last year, but we have slowed the rate of increase that we had been seeing uh, in the past, I guess in the past few months uh, leading out of the winter market. For expired and canceled, uh, we are low for expired and canceled. I haven't I didn't look at the other counties, but I feel like, uh, looking at the other charts, this is one of the only, maybe the only other county that is having a decrease in the linear average. Now, I know I've been saying that we've been having low expired act and canceled activity in recent weeks in a lot of other counties, but it hasn't been significant enough to really get this decrease um, if the other counties are decreasing, they're not decreasing at hard. Like, this is really standing out to me. Even going back to probably the end of December, we haven't had any more than five properties expire or cancel in a week. Now, we've been skipping some weeks. So did I? <laughs> did, did we skip a week where we did have one of those high ones? Yeah, maybe. Uh, but for the weeks that we have, we haven't gone above five. Whereas before the end of December here, it, it was kind of regular. Like, we would... I, we definitely had sixes, sevens, eights, tens, had a 12. I mean, that's definitely a high flyer, but it, it wasn't out of the ordinary for us to be above this five mark. Probably half of them are. Uh, we certainly had more over five than under five. These are the only three that we even had. And that's going back to last summer. Uh, so Saratoga County has really seemed to improve, I guess you could say, in terms of getting properties under contract and not letting them expire. For new activity, so new activity, we're all about, uh, well, active and pending, we're pretty close to where we were this time last year. Uh, so I, the recent three weeks, I, I kind of, when I look at the new activity, my first instinct is, oh, we're, we're, we're going downward. Uh, <laughs> it's really just this one that is really drawing that out. If this went away, it probably wouldn't be so obvious. But these last three weeks have been going on a downward direction, uh, which you'll see is going to affect our average days on market numbers. Um, but we're still either at or we're above the linear average, and we're pretty close. We're almost right on where we were this time last year. Well, I guess we're a little bit lower. This, the linear average was throwing my line off. 
Uh, we are a little bit, for this specific week, we're a little bit lower. But as a whole, taking a look at this, we're, we're generally pretty close to where we were this time last year. Pending numbers, same thing. For the average days on market, you can see our active average days on market are starting to head in a little bit of an upward direction. That's those, we're not getting as many new properties come on the market in the past few recent weeks. Uh, so that is going to... Without those zeros, that is going to bring up the average days on market for those numbers. Uh, for sold numbers and pending numbers, again, we're pretty close to where we were uh, this time last year. For average price, average price, the linear average is still showing us in an upward direction. If we look at the actual number, we're pretty our pending number is almost exactly where it was this time last year. Our sold number is just slightly above where it was last year. Uh, so looking at the specific dot, we're pretty similar to where we were. I mean, these numbers are bouncing. These, this is a hundred thousand dollar line right here. So each one of these dots, you're off by fifty to seventy-five thousand dollars each week, from week to week. So yeah, it could, it can bounce around like that. Linear average is showing both going in an upward direction. The pending number is increasing more than the sold number which is frequently most counties are showing that whatever the increase or decrease is pending is always a little bit more dramatic until you find out what the actual price is all right so that has been this week's episode thank you for joining me and please tune in again next week as we take a look at the question hey how's the market bye-bye for now